Exactly. So do you think sufferers are often stigmatized? Do you think they are often ashamed, you know, to talk about their conditions because people really get to understand them when they tell them, tell people about their conditions? You know, it's interesting that you have brought up the African aspect because one of the things that as African women we are told to do is to get up. We have it in us. We are strong women. And yes, we are very naturally so. But yeah. HG does not even know that we are strong. It doesn't. <laughs> it, it, it comes and it hits us like and shows you how weak you are. And everyone around you is looking around and saying, so and so got up. The other woman is, is, is there feeding her, her, her family. She already went to the to the market, she went into her business and opened it. And, and I mean, and women are very, very hardworking, but hyperemesis gravidera brings your life to a standstill, you know? And so um, being expected to rise up is, is one of the reasons that I feel in Africa, especially uh, brings all the stigma because your family and friends do not understand the medics do not understand and they're the ones that would be would be helpful to just bridge that gap between family and yourself between friends and yourself between employees and employers and yourself but even even knowing that our very medics need this information and it's not just in africa i found that it's in the world over global yes 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 it's global yes. So the same thing that's happening in Africa is happening in Europe and the UK and the USA. Yeah. And so if as women, we can unite on that front and just end the stigma and say, you know what? It, we are not being dramatic. It has nothing to do with that. 